Morning, it is time to check out the Grand View in Mali. I was gonna book a different hotel, but that is now sold out on booking.com and the Grand View is also sold out on booking.com. So I'm gonna to have to figure out somewhere else to stay for tonight because it's my last night in Mali. Um, I don't know if I've been bit in this room or like yesterday. I'm full of massive bites. Like, I don't know if you can see this, uh, the size of that there and then I'm full of them like like there you can see that on my arm there's more around there the um, backs of my legs um, so right now I'm just feeling itchy everywhere um, so yeah I've had a quick shower I need to sort my hair out pack all my things up change this top actually because I've been sleeping in this and then find somewhere else to stay before I do anything else today so yeah, I'm going to sort all that out really quick because it is four minutes past 11 and I need to check out at 11, so I'm a bit late. Um, so yeah, let's go. Hello, I'm here to check out, unless, do you have any spare rooms? So you need a extend? If if you've got another, a room available, yeah, let me check. Uh, currently, you're staying in uh, which room? Five hundred one. Five hundred one, right? Give me one minute. So. I don't mind like a cheaper room. Let me check. So how was everything? Good, thank you. Yeah, it was, yeah, good. Enjoyed it. So yeah, I'm here. I fly out tomorrow. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, so I need another night somewhere. <laughs> um, Give me one. No worries. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Right. So fully booked today then. But the thing is, uh, for you, like a uh, normal range? Yes. Is a normal place will be okay or how? <laughs> uh, a normal place, what do you mean? I uh, mean like, uh, not like this standard and a yeah. little lower. So there is a one place which is uh, another... What's it called? Place that is called the Park House. Park house. Yeah. Um, no, I'll go with the six in one, I think. Just try one. something different yeah, for the last true. night. Yeah. Well, that's me all checked out of the Grand View. Um, yeah, they're fully booked this evening, which is a shame because the place I wanted to go tonight was only £20 and it was like a cute little pod, so I thought that'd be a nice experience. But yeah, change of plans. So I'm going to walk to another hotel now see if I can book in with them. I think it's called one in six or something. Not as good ratings, but it's the final night. So I just need somewhere to dump the bag and sleep. One thing to mention though as well, like I've just checked out now. I've not had to pay any additional charges. Yeah, I had tea there the first night. So I think I got a free meal. Um, and like whenever I've asked them for bottles of water and stuff, they've all been free. So I don't know, maybe that comes as compliments of the hotel and I didn't um, realize but yeah all good so saved a bit of money there because I thought I'd have some expenses added on uh, but no yeah now we're off to see if we can find somewhere to stay tonight so should I pay now yeah amazing perfect all checked Yeah, this will do. This is the uh, room for my final night, which um, two single beds. Well, let's push them together. I'm guessing the bathroom is through here. Yeah. Um, what's the view saying? Oh, look, we've got some little pigeons. Hey. Do love a little pigeon. Oh my god, we've got loads of them. Um, so yeah, that's me all checked in. It's, I think it's 12 o'clock now here. So it's just good to just dump everything, dump the hoodie, dump the bags um, and head back out. So I'm gonna go grab some food now and I'm gonna go have a little wander around the Maldives National Football Stadium. Um, I actually walked past it last night when I met Gassim um, for, for those drinks and it looks tiny, but I want to see it in the daylight, see if we can get a little closer inside. Because obviously the theme to this trip so far is if I see a football stadium, I've got to go and see if I can get in it or, or get close to it. So yeah, we'll go and see that. Then head back to the ferry terminal of yesterday, 
head over to Villingilly, uh, just catch some rays, get in the pool. Um, but just to update, like I am so badly bitten. It must have been bed bugs in that in the last hotel, just because like I, I must have twelve stinging bites that are all massive. So whatever they are that's biting me, I am not reacting well to them. Um, like, I don't know if you can like. There's an there's another one here, like the the lump on that one is massive. I've got some on my back, which I don't know if you can see. The oh, oh no, I, I, yeah, yeah. So I'm just really itchy. I feel like I fell into a bloody bunch of nettles. Um, but yeah, anyway, I don't want to waste any more time now, so I'm gonna go grab some food and get the ferry. Let's go. Here we are at the Maldives National Football Stadium. You can actually get inside because the gate's open. Uh, Oh, it's actually a bit bigger than I expected. I mean, I feel like there's a load of work going on here. Hello? Am I okay to look around? Can you lock, lock, lock? Sorry? Can you lock, lock? There's a match oh. today. Oh, who's playing? Yes. Who? What teams? The club. Me, Anna Fonte. Oh, amazing. Oh yes. Amazing. Thank you. I feel like that means I can look round because he's not stopped me. Um, so I might wander around to the changing room, see if we can get in there, have a look at that. Oh, I've got to go. Okay, nah. Right, I've actually got to go. But yeah, this is this is the this is uh, yeah. They've got a game today, so I don't know where the fans are sitting. But yeah, this is the stadium. I'll leave now before I get locked in. Well, that's another random football stadium spotted. Um, I do quite enjoy seeing the little random stadiums along my travels. I think so far we've done sort of Toulouse, got inside there. The Shiktas, which unfortunately we didn't get inside, um, but had a nice wander around. And now the Maldives National Stadium. So it's good to see these things. Um, wasn't allowed to spend too much time in, otherwise I would have got locked in there until game time. Um, and yeah, I, I was almost tempted to do a, do a stay, buy a ticket, watch the game at three o'clock. Or do I go back to the island and chill out? And uh, yeah, I can't imagine the standard of Maldives football is uh, going to be better than me chilling out on a beautiful beach. So that is where I'm heading now. But yeah, it's always good to see these kind of things when you're out and about on your travels. Now, let's go chill. Actually, no. Let's go get some food and then chill. You know what? That was actually the best KFC I've ever had. From customer experience to the taste of the food, far better than a, um, a UK KFC. So yeah, if anyone's ever in Mali in the Maldives and you're a KFC fan, get yourself there because it was uh, the best KFC I've ever had. So um, this bus that goes from Mali to Villingilly runs every 10 minutes, 24 hours a day, which um, I did not know. 
because yesterday I got the I got the boat back at about four or five ish because it was I was deep down panicking thinking oh imagine I missed like the very last boat and I can't get back to the island where I'm staying because like obviously over there it's not for tourists no hotels um, or at least I couldn't see any hotels while I was there um, and just not much going on so I was like oh panicking a little bit but yeah the bus runs every 10 minutes um, so yeah no worries I think I'll probably stay there a bit later today sunbathe chill out because obviously it's like half no i think it's nearly two o'clock now um so yeah there's just no rush back i can spend all day and evening in villingilly and then come back later on which is great and here's my boat here's my boat i was gonna say bus then here's the boat ready to take me across to the island perfect Paradise. One thing I am going to say though is I am bit so bad, like everywhere is itchy. Um, like I go as far as to say this is far worse than um, what happened in Bratislava with all the mosquitoes and stuff where you could actually see how dirty the hostel was and I thought it was going to get bed bites. Like last night the hotel was super clean so I don't know what's gone on because my, well, my thighs um, my legs, everything is just... Sorry, the battery died then. As I was saying, my thighs, calves, ankle, backs of my legs, my back, everything's itchy. Like, they keep cropping up. Look, here's another one. Here's another one that's shown it itself. Like, got some down in here. Uh, the itchy down here. It's now touched, it's even itchier. Um, so that's really annoying me. Um, but yeah, back, back here at this beautiful beach. Um, so this is where I'm just gonna relax for today. Sit by the beach, go in the sea. And then yeah, so I don't think I'm gonna film too much from now for the next couple of hours, but I'll probably pick it up and go for another walk a bit later on. Um, get some food maybe. And yeah, I don't know. Just waffling on now, aren't I? Let's see what we can find in here then. The Bill and Gilly corner shop. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Thank you. Can I have two waters and two Twixies, please? How much is it? 28. Thank you. Have a good day. Uh, I just stopped off at the uh, Villingilly corner shop. Got myself two bottles of water and two Twixies for 28 roofer, whatever it is. So I am quite intrigued to figure out how much that costs. I reckon that is about $2, maybe. Um, but yeah, I've still not got no internet on my phone. So I can't check that until I get back to the hotel. But yeah, I'm guessing it'll be super cheap because I'm sure someone told me that 50 roofer is the equivalent of $3. So 28, yeah. One, one, $2. So now I'm just going to head to the other side of the island because that's where the sun is. Um, I mean, we're walking past where we was yesterday, where the football, where he was playing football. Over. Okay. That was where that massive crazy bat was as well. So yeah, just going to head over to the other beach which is where the sun is on. Uh, probably gonna stay there and see if the sun actually sets there. Cause I think that would be pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> I think that would be nice to see. Um, but yeah, just take each hour as it comes.
missing final day in the Maldives and um, just sat here now waiting for sunset which looks incredible, I'll show you. I don't think the video gives it justice, to be honest. So yeah, I'm going to wait till the sun sets and then head back to Mali, have my evening meal um, and then get packed and ready for tomorrow. Because I'm heading off to Bangkok at 12.30. Uh, so yeah, got a few things to sort out before then. Uh, I could do checking for accommodation as well, to be honest, because I land at 7pm. Um, so I want somewhere central or, well, I need to figure out how to get from the airport to Bangkok itself. But yeah, I want something easy enough to find. Um, but yeah, I'll do all that when I get back. Right now, I'm just going to sit, enjoy this sunset and then make a move. So the sun has set on Villingilly and it's time for me to head back to Mali mainland, grab some food and then sort my stuff out for tomorrow's travels. Um, yeah, just a really chilled and peaceful day, to be honest. One thing that has really annoyed me though is why I was sat watching the sunset, I seen a young lad, um, obviously a, a local because it's all locals that are on this island, just kill a bat for no reason. Like at first I was thinking maybe they actually eat them here and that's part of the diet or something, I don't know. Um, but no, he just killed it for no reason just because he, he could. Got off his scooter, killed the poor thing and then laughed about it, got back on his scooter and drove off and I know like there's difference in culture and stuff but it just doesn't sit well with me stuff like that. So yeah, that put a downer on, on the sunset to be honest. But yeah, I guess there's, there's nothing you can do. Cultures are, are vastly different from what I'm used to growing up with but you know I kind of understand it if you're going to eat them and you're doing it to, you know, you know if, if that's part of your diet or whatever and there's not a great amount of food resource over here then fine but not for pure entertainment it's just sickening so yeah heading back to the bus station now which is down this way somewhere um, and then back to Mali let's go mm -hmm. 